What is up guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about an update on the Mark 7. Some good stuff, some not so good stuff and we'll get into uh, you know, some the good stuff from EQT as well as just talk about the car in general and uh, give you guys kind of an update on what's been going on with the Wasey Dewey cycle. So if you guys are new, this is my Mark 7 GTI with a 3071R from Mamba on it. It's an IS38 based hybrid turbo, very similar to what you would find uh, as a setup with a Vortex XL. It's very similar to that. Um, it's just, you know, thankfully more less expensive than a uh, Vortex XL setup. Uh, it's ball bearing, nine blade turbine, makes fantastic noises out the back of it. Um, it's a really awesome turbo. I really love this turbo so far. Um, we've got a Blaze Atom V2 intake on the car. Um, Z34 high pressure fuel pump, uh, as well as Denso, I think they're two step holder plugs um, that are directly recommended by EQT who tunes this car. Um, so if you guys have been following along uh, with the Wasteg 3 cycle issue, I highly recommend you go watch the older videos to catch up. It would take me too long to TLDR for you guys in this video. And I'm not trying to keep you guys here forever when we're not doing anything crazy on video today so yeah we got the blaze intake installed as you guys saw i did a data log run you guys saw the virtual dyno chart at the end of that video and i think in my last video we talked about hybrid turbos on the mark 7 platforms um and i brought up you know that it made 30 more horsepower um we had a 17 percent decrease in wastegate duty cycle on this setup with with the blaze intake however matt has said it's still a little too high for how he likes to tune these cars and the majority of the 3071s he's tuned now obviously that still shows that we've got some sort of issue going on in the system somewhere whether it be an, an exhaust restriction which it really hope it isn't because i already have a pretty decent downpipe on this car from hpa as well as a borla cat back on this car uh the cat back is two and a half inch but from what research i've done most of your exhaust restriction is going to be in this downpipe so i'm hoping that's not the case but uh one thing that we talked about was pcv um now the pcv on this car is the factory one that came with the car um this car has just under forty three thousand miles on it uh and i'm i've been sus of it for a while now uh it's been something i've just been like something's not right with it honestly and i was just like why don't I think about this some more? And we did the boostly test about three weeks ago off camera. We did a test with a PCV hose attached to my new speed intake because I didn't have this at the time, um, as well as one with a disconnected and capped off. So thanks to Ron for, you know, being able to hang on for dear life as we shove 25 PSI pretty much in directly into the palm of his hand almost uh, because we didn't have anything that we could zip tie off at a time. But it, he did a good job. He made a good seal on the little on the little uh, attachment. Um, the runs with the PCV, though, are what are of note. The char tribe assembly, when we tested it with the PCV disconnected and capped off, perfectly fine. Pressurized up, no audible leaks anywhere because we used an air tester instead of a smoke tester. Um, when we connected the PCV, though, that's where issues were. We lowered the pressure down about 10 to 15 pounds. I wasn't comfortable with shoving 25 PSI directly into it with the PCV connected. Um, but air pretty much went straight through it all the way to the oil cap and oil filter housing which i thought was normal at the time i'm not very mechanically inclined i'm on the autism spectrum stuff like that just doesn't come natural to me but one thing we noticed though is how that happened it just went all the way through from the hose through the pcv through the n80 valve directly into the cap and filter housing uh, we heard a lot of hissing from over here where the n80 valve is located um we heard a lot of hissing from the oil filter stuff and the oil cap um and like I said, I thought it was just the ventilation of the PCV doing its thing. Now, after doing some research, after talking to Matt yesterday, me and him were emailing back and forth, and he was telling me the duty cycle was still too high for him. Um, he said he is, well, I'll get into that in a minute, because it's, it's part of the good stuff. But um, yeah, I mean, after doing some research, the PCV is not supposed to let boosted air get past it. So the fact that it was the N80 was even seeing air, which was then leading to these two guys seeing air, is a bit concerning now thankfully when i bought the blaze just to rule it out all together i bought another pcv now i've got them on it's another mark 7 one and a lot of people are putting mark 8s on there as well as just doing a full pcv delete kit um quite frankly I, i'm not in a financial position to buy you know a 700 dollars catch can kit right now so i opted to get just another factory PCV system um, and just see how it works. And I've been, like I said, I've been really suspicious of this factory PCV. I've actually even seen blow by with this turbo, uh, at the top of the RPM range. Uh, almost every data log we've done, there's been a bit of a hint of smoke at the top of the RPM range. Uh, and I'm like 90% sure it's blow by because of this PCV system. Um, so I have another factory PCV on standby, ready to go. It's the full kit. It even comes with the new N80 valve. So I may take advantage of that and swap out the N80 valve on this car just to make sure that we're good. Now some of the good stuff. 
So in that same email where Matt and I were talking and he was like, it's still a little bit higher than I would like, but, but, and that's where the but comes in. If you're ready to turn it up, I'll turn it up and we'll see what happens. So that's what we're doing. Uh, I told, I gave him the go ahead. I told him if it was safe in his eyes to go ahead and write the first revision for this car, which means I'm finally, after a couple of months of chasing this duty cycle issue, getting off the base map. Now, like I said, duty cycle, we're not out of the woods just yet. We're still kind of in a weird place where it's kind of sketchy and it's, it's nerve wracking. So at least it's honestly scary for me. I don't want to pop this motor. I don't want to pop this turbo. So uh, I'm sure my warranty's already expired on this turbo. So I'm trying my best not to put it in a situation where it could go. So yeah, I mean, all in all though, I mean, the setup's gonna be nice. We're gonna make a couple, a little bit more jam. Uh, I'm not having them turn it up a lot. My whole thing with this car has been to maintain reliability and daily driver fun, not to be a power record breaker. So hopefully we don't have to turn it up a lot, but to get to where I wanna be. But uh, yeah, we are finally gonna get off the base map, which I'm just very excited for. Um, I'm probably going to re replace the PCV this weekend. I don't know if I should do it on camera. You guys let me know if you guys want to see it on camera. Um, I'm pretty much recording this, editing and uploading it same day. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, we're finally going to get off the base map, which is going to be nice. But, um, you know, I'm still anxious about dealing with this PCV system. Um, like I said, I already have another one on standby, ready to go. Um, but yeah, so that's that as an update on the car. I just want to thank you guys and give you guys a special thank you for me for um you know all the support in recent videos ever since i put the turbo in the car um you know views have been going back up from you know finally recovering from where it was pre-gti a lot of you guys have been watching me for a long time though i used to have a ford truck that i built on this channel and that's really where the majority of the subscriber base you guys see on this channel comes from and uh, when i got rid of it and got this car my views plummeted i was lucky to see 20 views again it was as if i had 100 subscribers again um, so you guys are helping me out by, you know, supporting the videos and I'm starting to see triple digit views again, which is making me feel a lot better about things because honestly it's been, you know, a long grind back to get to that point again. And uh, I've tried to up my quality. I've tried to, you know, do less filler content videos. Uh, even though this may seem like one, a lot of you guys are trying to stay up to date with what's going on with this car, which is why I make videos like this. So I just wanted to extend a thank you guys for supporting this channel and supporting this car. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see behind the scenes stuff, go follow my TikTok. I post a lot more there because, it, you know, for one, it gets more viewership and two, it takes me a lot less time to make a TikTok than it does for me to make a YouTube video. Um, or go follow my Instagram. All of it will be in the outro at the end of this video, um, which you guys will see here in a few seconds. So all that said, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave, give a like and subscribe for more content coming soon on the Mark 7 GTI. And uh, who knows, maybe by the new year, might be a new car here. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. The biggest hurdle has been getting my parents to be okay with it since I live with them still. Um, and I'm really hoping I can finally get permission out of them, but we'll see. I asked for it for Christmas. I, put, I legitimately put it on a Christmas list they asked me to make. So, Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, guys, and stay safe.